Hi everybody, how's it going? This is Avik Mansour. Welcome to the second tutorial uh, in our beginner After Effects tutorial series. This is what we're going to make today. Firestorm. If you're making a movie about a comic book hero of yours or just making a movie about uh, some wildfire in California or something, it's not a bad title. All right, so this is what we're going to make. Let's get started. All right, so open up After Effects, go to the file, uh, download the footage, the fire footage. Uh, it should be available on the website. Um, I'm going to provide a link here somewhere. Um, just go to the link, download this footage, background footage, and we should be, you should be able to start working. Okay, so now let's start. Let's go to composition, new composition. Let's call it Firestorm. I'm using the, um, you can use whatever preset you want, 720p um, or 1080p, whatever you want. I'm going to use 640 by 360 just so it makes rendering and everything faster on my computer. And this is a tutorial after all. And the duration, let's say it's 20 seconds. Okay. All right. So now this clip here is a 10 second loopable clip. Um, if I bring it down to Firestorm, you can see that it's only 10 seconds long. Now, if you've seen my first tutorial, you know that we can extend this um, to whatever you want. Um, let's just delete this and let's extend it before we even get started, okay? So, right click or control click on a Mac on the footage, go to interpret footage, main. Uh, you can conform your frame rate to whatever is suitable for you. We are going to loop it twice because this is 10 seconds long and our composition is 20 seconds long. Hit OK. Bring this thing down. And now we see that it is 20 seconds long. All right. Let's just go to the text button. Text tool. Hit Fire, Firestorm, and let's get out of the text tool by clicking on the selection tool. Bring it over here. We'll go to Title Action Safe and Center it. Actually, let's just increase the size before we do anything and I since there's so much going on in the background I would rather go with a thick font this computer is a little funny it doesn't have Arial black I have to go to Arial and then go to black just place it somewhere in the center whatever makes you comfortable let's change the color of the font to something dark a little darker. Maybe a shade of white, lighter shade. Okay. Now go to layer. Now make sure the text layer is selected. Go to layer, layer styles, outer glow. Okay. And then go to outer glow. See if we can see everything here. Um, hit F4 if you don't see all the options until you see them. Under opacity, make it 100. Under color, let's make it white. Under range, let's make this about 35. And under size, 
seconds, maybe it's about 30. We can tool this back up. All right. Now, uh, making sure that your text layer is above the fire layer, go to the track mat and say Luma Mat Firestorm or whatever you named this file. Okay. So, and let's make this. It's looking kind of bad. Let's make it half resolution. So that's your Firestorm. Now let's get rid of the title action safe and what we're going to do is come back up here make sure that the Firestorm layer is selected go to the pen tool and just click and drag so that you have something a little wavy it doesn't matter what it looks like just make something look like a flame kind of deal really it doesn't matter what it looks like just make sure you go outside far enough and down far enough if you hold the space bar the hand will appear and then if you click it's going to allow you to kind of move around okay so just make sure that the you go far enough down below and then join the mask. All right. So let's get out of the pen tool by clicking the selection tool. Uh, we're going to go back to the text layer. Hit MM to reveal the mask properties. Go to mask feather. And let's say, let's make it 50. For you guys, you guys might have to make it a 100 if you work in a larger file. Um, if you work in a 1280 by 720 uh, uh, setting, you might have to make this into 100 or just choose whatever is uh, looks nice to you. Uh, 50 should be fine here. And now, just like in our first tutorial, we need to move this mask. Okay? So now making sure that your playhead is in the very beginning go to the mask until the cursor changes double click move the mask until you no longer see the firestorm just hold the shift key down so uh, you go straight down come to mask path hit the stopwatch go forward about four seconds check here to make sure you know where you're going uh, go to about four seconds and then go back to the mask, double click, hold the shift key, move it up until you see everything. All right. Now, if you hit the zero key, you should be able to do a little RAM preview of what you just made. Okay. Doesn't look so bad pretty nice already now let's give it some time to stick around come over to about 10 second mark make sure that the text layer is clicked hit T for opacity click the stopwatch go to about 13 seconds page up or page down to move up or down a frame then come over here, change the opacity to zero. All right. And now hit the N key, and you will trim your um, timeline. You can right click on the timeline and let's say trim comp to work area, and you have a 13 second long clip. So if you do another ramp preview by hitting zero, you're going to get something like this. So, that's it, guys. That is the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, of course, if you want to render it out, just go to Composition, 
make movie you will be taken to the render queue and choose the appropriate folder where you want to save it um, if you have any music associated with your file make sure that you have audio output checked in I don't have any music associated with it and you can change the format of the video to whatever format you like and just hit the render key and that should be it again I uh, hope you guys like the tutorial and uh, thank you for watching my name is Avik Mansour I will see you in the next tutorial take care